because it turns out that a lot of people who come in contact with aliens are paying the price. The Pentagon just released over a thousand pages all about UFOs program and these extraterrestrial events. And the documents reveal biological effects that UFO sightings can have on us. People have experienced all things like heart and brain problems, although it would be hard for me to tell, damaged nerves and all kinds of stuff because of electromagnetic radiation. The Pentagon apparently has hundreds of cases on file of people affected like this. One of the most famous extraterrestrial events in American history was the 1969 Berkshire UFO sightings. Several groups of people in different locations reported making contact on the same exact night. And they all had slightly different experiences. And if you ask, many of them still struggle to describe what happened that night. But something happened. In fact, there were so many eyewitnesses, the state of Massachusetts couldn't dismiss this as some deranged thing. They actually recorded it in the state's archives as historically true. Tom Reed was one of those eyewitnesses in the Berkshires. He was only six at that time in 1969, but his life hasn't been the same since. All right, Tom, what happened during your encounter? Hey, thanks for having me on, Jesse. You're welcome. Yeah, we, uh, it was Labor Day. It was a holiday, and we were driving through the Sheffield Covered Bridge. Um, on, you know, it was like a shortcut home. And as we came out the other side, um, our entire family saw what looked like a sphere. It was uh, a round uh, it looked like a large cue ball, but it was bigger than our station wagon, and it kind of rose from the banks of the, of the Housatonic River off to the left side of the bridge. And as we continued going forward, there was another orange one to our right, which would be like at 5 o'clock, if you were a clock. And that one stayed lower to the water, and uh, my mother kept going maybe 20 or 30 yards down the road until she saw a clearing. And when we stopped, we all looked over this clearing, you know, trying to get a second look at this thing. And that's when we saw what looked like a large uh, disc-shaped object that was about 100 yards in size. It reminded me a lot of a turtle shell. You know, as a child, I, I referenced things as things I can remember. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, wasn't was shiny. It did not look like what you would expect to see. It uh, had a large center to it. It just hovered about three stories high. The uh, You know, I've mentioned over the years that it kind of put out a light, but it was the sheen or the shell of it itself that kind of uh, emitted this amber or reddish tint to it. And so we, we really just sat there looking at it. We were kind of in awe. And uh, at that point, then it just felt like um, we were deep into a swimming pool, you know, like this pressure change. And there was a tapping sound reminded me of stones hitting underneath the fender wall of a vehicle. But we were already parked. You know, the lights were on, the car was running, but we weren't moving. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden the car lit up and then everything kind of went silent this vacuum, this like vacuum of silence is the way I worded it. And then all of a sudden, bang, everything came back to life again, crickets, the sounds of nature. And then that's the last thing I remember from being in the vehicle. So what were the health effects that you experienced? Well, my uh, my brother had marks on his chest behind his right ear. I had a mark on my, on my right arm. Uh, my brother and I went pretty much bald by like 22 years old, not sure what happened there, but we're the only ones in our family to have lost our hair like that. Um, you know, I've had nerve damage. I have very bad eyesight. I've had five operations on my eyes. And um, a friend of mine too that was involved in this case too has the same eye problem that I do. That is really bizarre. And the state of Massachusetts has classified this as legit? Yeah, yeah, made the cover of the Boston Globe. Our family got inducted into history. There's a park in our honor in Sheffield, Massachusetts, and a, it's kind of a, a unique thing to be part of. But, you know, seeing what we did was extraordinary. I mean, I felt privileged to be part of that. And like I've told other people, you know, the, this little off-world incident that we were involved with wasn't all that trying. It was really the, the on-world, you know, how people treated us, um, you know, after talking about something that they, they couldn't get their heads around, you know. Yeah, well, it is a fascinating story. And... We hope you feel better from your physical ailments. Yeah, and thank you. thank you for coming on and sharing your story on Primetime. Thanks for having me, Jesse. Thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.